What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Press A, K.A. Barn on 11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. Um, this is an interesting one. Um, I just unsubscribed from Peter Schiff. Um, I used to listen to him because I thought he had a generally a good idea of what is going on in the world. I don't listen to everybody without, you know, taking a grain of salt. You know, listen to all follow none kind of thing. But I listened to certain people that I thought would be able to give me insight. And I like the fact that, for example, he did not like Bitcoins. And he thought the same way I do, that they are not going to be the wave of the future, so to speak. But he did an interview a couple of days ago, and the video was just posted today, where he is now accepting Bitcoins for his gold. Now, for me... Somebody like that who has been saying how much they hate Bitcoins and how they're trying to teach people, educate people, and then he turned around. The thing that disturbed me and made me unsubscribe is the fact that he's trying to say it. Well, I'm doing this for the convenience of people. I still don't believe in Bitcoins, but because of the fact that some people might have them, I'll be gracious enough to take them and give you my gold. So this way you're not stuck with these Bitcoins. No, what's happening is he saw that Bitcoins went up to about $1,200, $1,300 an ounce, and now they're down to like four or 500 So he sees it as an opportunity to make a lot of money and take advantage of people, especially if you bought that high and you're trying to get rid of them. That's plain and simple. And to turn around and say, oh, well, I'm doing it for you guys. I'm going to make your life so much easier. Get rid of those, those worthless Bitcoins that I don't believe in and just give them to me and I'll give you some gold. I have a problem with that, and I unsubscribe from him for that, because if he thinks they're that worthless, what would he take newspapers for his gold? I have plenty of newspapers. I can give him that, and if he wants to help us people who are stuck with tons of newspapers that they were going to put in their fireplace, and we can trade it in for gold, well, wouldn't he be doing a service then? I mean, that to me is an insult and a slap in the face. Somebody with a multi-million or billion dollar company to talk about something like Bitcoin, saying how he doesn't believe in them, and then not only take them, but then turn around and try and play people for fools and say, well, you know, you got them. I don't want you stuck with them, so I'll take them off your hands, even though I still don't believe in them, and I don't think they're going to be worth anything, and they're going the way of the tulip, and that's one of his quotes. If you don't know what tulips are, well, a couple of few hundred years ago in uh, Switzerland, I believe, or Holland, I think. Actually, I think it was Holland. Tulips were used as currency. And people, that was the highest form of currency you can get at that time. And it lasted for a couple of decades until it came crashing down. For him to, to turn around and say, oh, we're going to take it off your hands, is just a slap in the face. And some people will say, oh, well, you know, your organ pyramids or your organic products, you take fiat dollars. Well, I'll be more than happy if somebody wants to buy some of the things that I sell and they want to give me gold and silver for it. I'll be more than happy. You want to send me your gold and silver and you want to do a trade for the products that I have? I have no problem with that. But at least if you want to compare bitcoins to even fiat dollars, at least fiat dollars you can hold in your hand. You can actually go to any store or any business, or any service, and they'll accept it. Now, ultimately, I don't wish to use it. But this let's, let's be real. This is life. This is the life that we're all living. And since 99% of the world doesn't give a rat's behind about what's going on, some of us are stuck with the hypocrisy. Unless somebody has a better way to feed their family and their children and you know pay all their bills, I would love to know. Because unfortunately, they're not taking the gold and silver yet. So as far as Peter Schiff is concerned, I've heard my last video from him. The more I listen to him, the more I realize that these big businesses are just there to boost your ego, work on your emotions, play with your head, and then totally screw you over for their own profit. Now, I still believe in gold and silver. I believe in it. As I've always said, it's for your future. It's like life insurance. It's protection. That's why I never worry about these prices. And as a matter of fact, somebody sent me a link the other day that they're saying that in the month of June, 
I don't know. I, I don't know the link. I've gotten so many emails and so many links. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. I can't find it, so I apologize. But somebody was saying to me that there's some inside information, whether it's true or not, I don't know, where they said in the month of June, gold could go down to 900 an ounce and silver could go down to about $15 an ounce. And then it's going to go parabolic, like almost like a month later. So if that happens, I'm getting ready to stock up again. And if it does, if silver hits 15, I'll be the first one to make a video saying I was wrong because I made videos in the past. I said, oh, you'll never see $15 silver again. And if I'm wrong, that's fine. That just means I'm going to be able to purchase more and I'll keep backing up that truck because I still believe in it, despite what some of these people are doing for obvious profit. But with bitcoins, they have no other use. If all of a sudden computers went down or computers got hacked and you can't use your bitcoins, what else can you use them for? Hey, at least a paper dollar you can turn into paper mache weapon and stab somebody or like they did in uh, in Germany in World War One when their currency went down to almost nothing. They basically use it to wallpaper their house and start fires with. Gives it other uses. I don't believe in bitcoins and never will. And the people that believed in them basically did it for the money. And I, you could always tell because all my Bitcoin videos, which I still have up to this day, when the price rises, that's when I get all the people saying, oh, you're wrong about Bitcoins and oh, you're a hater and you're this. And when they go down, all you hear is crickets. Peter Schiff is just another person taking advantage of people. And he's trying to say that he's doing it to help you. Stop it. Because Peter Schiff, I'll say right now, there's no way you're watching my video, but if for some miracle of a chance you're actually watching this, and you're really trying to say you're taking people's Bitcoins because you want to help them out so they don't get stuck with them. I got a poop load of newspapers that I use in my fireplace or basically stove, hot stove. You want to take those for gold? You'll be doing me a favor. I got plenty of it. And if you're doing such a charity event of really helping people, because newspapers are probably just as about as valuable as those bitcoins will be someday. Take those for gold. I'll be more than happy to ship them to you. Gotta love people sometimes. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.